Merry Christmas and welcome back to Nativity here on December 26th, the second day in the octave of Christmas. As soon as Mary gave birth to her firstborn son, the scriptures say that she wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger. What are swaddling cloths and, and why did she do so? Ancient Jewish customs, including the swaddling of the newborn infant, swaddling cloths were narrow bands of cloth wrapped around a newborn child to restrain its movements and quiet the child. So as soon as Mary held her firstborn son, the very next thing she did was wrap him in swaddling cloths. During the nine months of her pregnancy, Mary's body prepared for the birth of her infant in her womb. However, during those nine months, Mary prepared for more than the day of the birth. She prepared for a new life defined by the identity of her son as the Messiah. Mary wasn't preparing for a day, Christmas. She was preparing for a person, Jesus Christ. And this person is the Savior of the world. So the very next thing that Mary did was wrap him in the very cloths that wrap him as a child, but in some way remind Mary of his identity as the Savior of the world. Now today is the day after Christmas. Most of the world spent the first 24 days of December getting ready for a day. Most of the world was focused on a holiday The 25th was simply another day circled on the calendar. Therefore, today, most of the world is moving on to what is next. For them, Christmas was a day, and New Year's is the next holiday. The world is moving on to the next thing. How many people will take down the Christmas tree today? They'll clean up the house from the holiday dinners. They'll pack up one set of decorations and open up the next set of decorations. Our secular culture, because it focuses on events rather than people, is gearing up for the next big celebration. Now contrast that with Mary and Joseph in the Nativity. They weren't preparing for a day. They were preparing for a person Furthermore, this person would change their life forever. Mary's focus is on the person. She wraps him in swaddling cloths because she knows full well that this tiny person is the most important thing in life. The next thing for Mary is Jesus, not a day. The next thing for Mary is the Messiah, the Savior of the world. Mary didn't move on to the next diversion. In fact, she reminded herself through swaddling cloths that life would never be the same again. What's next for you? What's your interior attitude today? Are you committed to the person of Jesus? Or are you feeling the lure to move on to the next day on the calendar? Spend some time with Mary. Just like yesterday, ask her if you can hold a child that she held. The more you experience the grace and the nativity, the more that you experience the grace that they experience, the easier it will be to keep your eyes focused on what's next, which is Jesus Christ. Again, on the website, I've got a few things that might help you in your prayer, especially with the Psalms and some encouragement to be in the scene with Mary and Joseph. But as you go throughout the day, pray a prayer similar to this with me. Father, I desire to keep my focus on you. I give you permission to hold my inner gaze on you so that I don't move on to another holiday, but I stay with you. God bless you.